New York City's Fashion Week begins today and leading off for the third year in a row with a fashion night out. It's a worldwide initiative to celebrate all areas of fashion and in many places to raise money for different causes. A night to focus on styles for real women and not just super skinny models. Imagine that. Early show contributor Taryn Winterbrill has the story. Good morning. Wow, Good morning. close for real people. Finally, right? It's about time. Good morning, Erica. Well, at least one third of American women are plus size. And for years, clothing makers have taken little interest in the market. But now, retailers like Lane Bryant are not only getting the fit right, they're making plus size as fashionable as ever. In the glitz and glamour of the fashion world, skinny women have ruled runways and populated magazine pages for decades. But many of the models for the world's best designs are not accurate models of the average woman. I think in the past, on runways and things like that, there's been this addiction to pin thin models, um, but we are really trying to move away from that. Today, the average woman in America is a size 14, which translates to a 44 inch bust, 38 and a quarter inch waist, and 46 inch hips. And for years, the clothes available to her weren't the most flattering of fits. Unfortunately, the, the market has not really established the right fit for the customers. So recently, retailers like Lane Bryant, the largest plus-size fashion chain in the U.S., have been using new technology to design outfits that work with a woman's body. What we try to do at Lane Bryant is really give her the fit needs that she has in, in every sense of the way. Uh, we have so many different technologies here that we've used in order to create that fit for her. The design team uses this 3D scan of real women to create new fits like the T3. What does T3 stand for? It's tighter tummy technology. We have the elastic waistband on the inside, and then as you open it, you can see that inside panel that really helps you be able to really smooth out that front section. The clothes, I'm gonna be honest with you, they went from maybe frumpy to fashionable, so I come here all the time so that I can um, look good when I'm going out. It's because you're plus size, you can still look good. Of course. You have to look good. The store's emphasis on fit and fashion helps take the frustration out of shopping, giving customers exactly what they're looking for. Is this different from any other jeans you've yeah, ever tried yeah, on? Definitely. I've never, um, I'm looking in the mirror, that's what I keep <laughs> looking. But um, yeah, no, this is different. I've never felt anything like this. That feeling is catching on in shopping malls everywhere. Staples like Banana Republic, Old Navy, and Bloomingdale's all have plus size components to their stores and their websites. When you know the stuff is there, it's available, it looks good on you, and it's cute. So, I mean, that's what any woman wants. They want to feel on trend, they want to feel cute, and they want to feel, you know, sexy and confident in their clothes. And whether you're a size 2 or a size 16, confidence is something that never goes out of style. How do you feel shopping in a store like this with so much selection? My husband isn't going to like it because <laughs> it makes me buy more because <laughs> there is so much more to choose from. And um, it all fits. Saving money by spending money is as I like to look at it. Well, incidentally, many of the plus size shoppers we spoke with say they also have weight fluctuations. So to address that challenge, Lane Bryant is developing a line of bras that adapt to a body whose weight changes sharply. It's all a part of what they call solution-based merchandise, which is really perceptive because the worst thing is when you gain and lose weight, you don't want to have to buy new clothes, Erica. Absolutely. It's frustrating. Great stuff, Taryn. Thanks. Thanks.